guys and welcome back to my channel so I did it again I went to Target for diapers I swear I had um, a baby shower to go to so I was like oh, I'll go to Target and get diapers and I ended up at the dollar spot again and they got more teacher stuff so obviously I had to buy it for September so I wanted to show you everything I got in case someone uh, my channel is a teacher so this is the first bag I had two bags worth of stuff in the first bag, I got the um, clip strips. This was three dollars. They had ones that had apples. Um, I think one that was just like plain blue, and one that was blue with apples. So they're all different kind of designs, green. But I picked the colorful arrow one, if that's what you want to call it, chevron, whatever, because you know um, the bulletin board borders I got were kind of like this. So I figured let me stay with the theme. So this was three dollars. I had a bunch when I went. I got um, I got some erasers. These are reward erasers. They are in the shape of apples. They all have different sayings. They got great work, super, very good, wow. Um, so I figured this will be a good little like treat for the kids. That was a dollar. And then I got some more. The more re uh, reward erasers. This was also a dollar. It says, yes, you can. Dream big. Never give up. Uh, very nice. You did it. And then it repeats the stuff, yes you can. So I figured kids will want some maybe motivational erasers, maybe the older guys. I got a cork board, it's like kind of like your talking kind of board, you know? Um, so that I can hang up things that maybe the students give me some pictures or something, they make me a card, or I can hang up important things that I need to remember. So I got a cork board, this was $3. And then I was really happy that I saw this. This is a classroom rules poster. It's a dry erase. This was a dollar. Um, it opens up, if you can see here, nice and big, so it's not like just this size. I was going to make myself um, on a rules board, but now that I have this, this will be so much easier. So that's everything in the first bag. It's mainly like the bigger kind of things, I guess you can say. So. Now moving on to the second bag. And the second bag has quite a bit more to be honest. So we're just going to go through it. I got another bag that says goodies. The little purple bag that I got from the Dollar Tree is not cutting it. So I figured I'll put the erasers in here. This was $3. They had um, quite a few actually more than they did. Uh, last time I got another apple like a worm with the apple. I figured if I hang something now I can put like the classroom on it um, So I got this guy. He was a dollar. It's a bulletin accent I did get two cards which has nothing to do with the classroom You know, I always pick up cards if I can they're both a dollar this one says happy birthday And so does this one so you know I collect these I got gel clingings for my classroom It's a this one says welcome back to school if I'm not mistaken, my classroom does have um, like a little window on the door. So I'm going to put this on there. And if not, I can just stick it on the window. And then I got another one that has crayons with the colors like red, orange, yellow, green, uh, light blue, blue, purple, fuchsia, and pink. So I figured this will be cute for my the door once I can take down the welcome back to school to put some art into it. If not, it'll just go on my window. I got these little glass jars oh by the way the gel clingings were both a dollar I got these glass jars and this was three dollars and I got it so I can put the next items in it so I'll show you they had all different kinds the lids were all different colors and I think the top is a um, chalkboard if I'm not mistaken so I got it so I can put paper clips in it I got paper clips because I'm gonna end up needing to clip a lot of things together lesson plans or papers things I need to copy things I need to grade so I got paper clips these are um, both a dollar and they're like colorful ones so I got it to put in the jar then I also got tacks push pins they're both for a dollar I got this to put in the other jar also for my new tech board uh, cork board if you want to call it and these are also very colorful I got two more tins this one is rainbow stripes this one's rainbow chevrons I got this so I can put stuff in it because it's going to be easier to like crayons or things like that, erasers, pencils, just to stick in the tins to get in my bag and go because I'll, I'll just have to grab it and put it in my bag and I'll be out the door. So I got two more tins or maybe use it for pens or pencils or something. I'll get some use out of it. And then I got, oh the, by the way the tins were both a dollar. 
Then I got this wooden uh, crate. This was three dollars. Both sides are colored. It's red, yellow, green, blue. I got this to put glue sticks in. Actually, I had a purpose for this so that when the kids pass out, one can hold it on the sides and one kid can take the glue sticks out. Without this will also be easier to just stick in my bag because it's like a square flat thing. I probably should have gotten more of these, but um, I only got one. So, uh, yeah, that is everything I ended up getting at Target. I got quite a few this time, more than I was expecting. I really wasn't expecting to purchase anything from the dollar spot. I just wanted to go in for the diapers and leave. But I ended up getting all of these things because, like I, like you guys know, I don't have anything. I have now have the classroom, but I could also lose the classroom next year. But, you know, it's good to have it because you never know where I'll end up in the future. So, that's everything that I got in this bag. Uh, I wanted to show everybody, so if there's any teachers out there looking, or new teachers looking for some supplies, definitely go to the dollar target spot because it's all up in there. But other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, guys. Bye.